Gamescom 2025 is here, and we gotta jump on the new updates NVIDIA will be presenting at the show for GeForce Now. And yes friends, this is the big one. NVIDIA is announcing GeForce Now upgrades to the 5080 SuperPods, which is delivering Blackwell architecture, NVIDIA GeForce Now RTX 5080 class GPUs to the cloud, including NVIDIA DLSS4 multi-frame generation for streaming up to 5K resolution and up to 360 FPS streaming capability. Capability, new AI powered features, and plenty more. Let's get started. The 5080 Super Pods are here, and I know many of you are very excited like we are. Let's talk about the specs. NVIDIA Blackwell architecture comes to GeForce now, but what does this really mean? Members will gain advanced features like NVIDIA DLSS4 multi-frame generation, pushing streams up to 5K resolution at 120 FPS. The upgrade adds support for the stream, up to 360 FPS at 1080p and 240 FPS at 1440p. Time to upgrade your monitor, people, with a higher refresh rate. Heck, I don't even have 240. Anyway, now be aware that these upgrades will only be applied to games that support these upgrades as seen here. Not every game on the platform will support multi-frame generation. Plus, NVIDIA has said that they are slowly adding support on GeForce Now for more games as time goes on. We'll have a full list of supported games soon. Now let's talk about video quality. A new mode called Cinematic Quality Streaming, or CQS, uses a host of technological advancements to significantly improve image quality. Many people, including myself, were always complaining that there was some sort of distortion on games with a lot of foliage. Games like Assassin's Creed Shadows and Black Myth Wukong, to name a few. They have solved this problem with cinematic quality streaming. Check out these features for this mode. Stunning color accuracy with 4x4x4 color support. Super smooth streaming with advanced AV1 encoding. Crystal clear graphics with NVIDIA AI supported filters. Better detection for every screen type, including mobile. And up to 100 megabits per second bitrate stream for crazy detail. This mode will be an option in the GeForce Now app you turn on to activate this feature. We'll be testing this to see how well this works compared to what is available now on Ultimate. Now NVIDIA was always the best in the latency category to be honest, and they're making it even better. Enhanced by the latest AMD Zen 5 CPUs and NVIDIA Connect X7 smart network cards, GeForce Now features the most advanced hardware in cloud gaming. NVIDIA is promoting click-to-pixel response times as low as 30 milliseconds. Tapping a global network of NVIDIA Super Pods, the majority of gamers in GeForce Now supported regions will see a sub-30 millisecond network latency. And as I've always mentioned previously in other videos, the faster your performance, the lower the latency. Things are getting better and better as time goes on. NVIDIA's broadband connectivity partner network continues to grow with new collaborations with Comcast, Deutsche Telekom AG, and more. Comcast is enhancing low latency GeForce Now cloud gaming through the DOCSIS telecommunication standard. Deutsche Telekom AG is integrating GeForce Now into its 5G Plus network, and BT Group will implement L4S and 5G slicing to deliver consistent high quality broadband and 5G performance, whether it's at home or on the go. The extensive list of supported devices continues to grow. Handhelds including the Steam Deck and the Lenovo Legion Go S will now get 90 FPS support streaming for the Steam Deck and 120 FPS streaming support for the Legion Go S. I'm sure there will be many other handhelds to come. New devices like racing wheels are going to be supported during this launch. Now it's unclear exactly what wheels will be supported, but it's nice to know that they are now supported on GeForce Now for you big racing fans out there. This Logitech G29 is obviously going to be supported. Joysticks are not though, as of now. Sorry Flight Sim fans. We also have a small upgrade for LG TV support as well. Select LG TVs will now get 4K 120fps support with HDR. LG monitors will get 5K 120fps OLED support with this rollout. I'll have to see what monitors NVIDIA is recommending. Now on to the games. NVIDIA has confirmed a number of new AAA games coming to the cloud. This includes Black Ops 7's as expected. Borderlands 4, which was already confirmed, and Outer Worlds 2. But speaking of games, there is a brand new feature coming. 
introducing the Install to Play functionality. This will allow members to install games from Steam that are not currently in the GeForce Now library. This will allow members to access more of their PC collection. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to look on the GeForce Now app, but here is what's supposed to happen. Paid members will get 100 gigabytes of high speed MVM storage per session to install your game for free. There's also a persistent storage add-on NVIDIA now has the option for you to keep your downloaded games and saves, which I'll get more into in a second. But here's the catch to all of this. These games have to be opted in to GeForce Now for you to download it. So no, you can't just download GTA 5 and run it. The publisher still needs to opt in their games to the platform so you can play them on the service. Apparently, there is over 2200 games that are opted in, but still need to be added to the platform. This is how Nvidia is handling it. Now regarding the persistent storage, there will be a price to it. Here are the prices for having your own personal cloud storage. You can get 200 gigabytes for $2.99 a month, 500 gigabytes for $4.99 a month, and one terabyte for $7.99 a month. This is on top of your membership fees. And again, this is available for performance and ultimate members. Good thing though, is that they will not be having a price increase for this upgrade. Prices will stay the same, but they'll be adding annual membership options at $199.99 for ultimate and $99.99 for performance respectively. Now, last but not least, GeForce Now is launching the ability to play Fortnite instantly on Discord. NVIDIA, Discord, and Epic are partnering to transform how people discover and play games together, making it easier than ever for gamers to stay connected. With GeForce Now's game streaming technology distributed through Discord, players can try new games instantly on Discord, no downloads, installs, or launchers without missing a beat of gameplay. This new integrated experience coming later this year will let gamers try Fortnite directly in Discord through a free limited trial of the GeForce Now performance experience, even if they do not have the game or GeForce Now. Players will only need to create or connect their Epic accounts before instantly dropping into a lobby or creative map in Fortnite. So the big question is, when is this all launching? Good news! They will start rolling out in September, so next month. They did say this would be a slow rollout, so for updates when new locations will be supported, make sure you stay tuned for updates on GeForce Now Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific for official news. Now, side points for our Indian fans, there was no mention of the progress for Indian servers. Sorry, guys. Also, will we see the lower tiers get a performance upgrade with the shift in hardware? Not sure, but hopefully we'll see how that goes. And lastly, there was no mention for full VR support. So guys, we're going to have a lot more information on the 5080 Superpod rollout soon. Let us know how excited you are for this upgrade in the comments below. And if you like this overview of the 5080 Superpod upgrade announcement, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.